Okay, hey everyone. Sorry for the delay. Um, tonight, I'm going to be discussing the topic, roles of social values in nation building. And I'm Hali Bruni, a second, <coughs> second year medical student of University of Ibadan. And um, thank you for being here. Next slide, sir. So the outline for today, you are, you are, you are going through the introduction. Then in, inside the introduction, we are going to be talking about what is values and what values are. And we move to, <coughs> sorry, we move to uh, social values where we're talking about definition, component, examples, and all. Then we move to the roles of social values, conclusion, and rest. Um, the, the Champion of the Education Foundation team the board members, articulate mentors, my fellow colleagues, and all of that distinguished attendees tonight are uh, duly organized. Thank you for coming. Without further ado, let's dive into the topic of discussion today because we don't have much time again. So introduction, what is the value? The key word from the social value, what is the value, which is the value? Value is the importance, worth, usefulness, or merit we give to something within crucia. Cambridge Dictionary defines it as the importance or worth of something for someone or how useful or important that thing is or how important something is. Value of something can be higher in its monetary worth, market price, exchange rates, originality, or rarity. We're talking about monetary worth, you are talking about the price, like the cost of that something can give that thing a value or the market price of that something can give that thing a value or the exchange rate. A typical example of this is the comparison between dollar and Naira. You all know that dollar currency is more valuable than Naira currency. I'm talking about value in terms of originality. We are talking about the original version of that something. An example I can give here is um, a typical, uh, maybe uh, let's say more like a, the Mona Lisa art by Leonardo da Vinci. The cost of that Original, original copy of that art will be more co it be costlier or be more valuable than any other copy the best artist in the world can produce. And also rarity of something too. When something is rare, it can give that thing a value too. So next slide, sir. What are values? Values are principles, fu fundamental convictions, ideas and standard of life, which act as a general guide to behavior or, or as a reference point in decision making. This is how Parankimali is uh, actually a, a story writer and a, and a motivator. This is how he divine values as a fundamental conviction. Value are also code of conduct adopted as behavior, desirable and accepted by an individual class organization, society, or nation. The values are fundamental conventional ideas, standard of living that people see as a reference point in making decision in life or a desirable, a, desire, a, a desirable code of conduct that people see as right way of living. It might be um, within individual, among class, or an organization, society, or a nation. Next slide, sir. Now we are going to social values, definition of social value. Social values are a set of principles that are, normal, that are morally accepted. Sorry, social values are a set of principles that are morally acceptable by society and created by the dynamics of the community, institution, institutions in the society, tradition and cultural beliefs guiding people in, social, in society on how to conduct themselves appropriately. These are how carbon collective divine social values. It can also mean values, but this, in, in this sense, it is dynamic in the community. And it guides people in the community how to conduct themselves properly in such community or nation they found this, they found, they found themselves. So these social values. Next slide, sir. 
Are you still there? Yes, I'm here. I would share now. Um, Dr. Mbarak, please um, admit people that are waiting because I, I will lose that power once I'm sharing the slide. That's why I had to stop for now. Okay. Okay. So I've made you I've made you a co-host. So once anyone is in the um waiting, please admit them. Thank you. Thank you. So I'll share the slide now. Okay, sir. So like I said, social values are just a set of principles that are morally accepted in society. And people use them as guide in the society on how to behave or conduct themselves properly within this society. This is, so, these are social values. Component of social values. Component of social values are like cells, tissue, and organ that form a value system and also serve as sources or generators for people's behavior and principle. They're just like, like an atom, like it, it, the fragments of value that we put together to form a value system. And we make a reference from this system or we, make, we put them as our source or generator for our behavior and principle. So it's like, just like a value bank or a system where we make reference about how we behave in society. These are components of social value. Next slide, sir. Example now of components. We have religion, culture, tradition, race, civilization, social exposure. Religion in the sense that you might actually make some references or you might actually behave in society in in terms or in kind of value that is in your religion. For example, now let me, let me tell you about this scenario. On Friday, I went to a colleague of my a, a colleague of mine, we are into um, front-end development. Then I told him that I find it hard to, uh, to further in my course because I also have passion for, for um, video editing. So I find it to choose which one should I go because I don't want to be doing different kinds of things. Then he told me that he would advise me to go for front end to become a website development developer rather because I tend to do things that are against my religion being a, a, a video designer because I will do it different dimension and pictures. That is a component like he, he infer that thing from is religion, which I'm not even thinking about as a, as a Muslim. That's one of the components of Shia value. In fact, that thing, that idea, it is it going because of his religion, because it, 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 it makes from some reference to his religion. Also, culture can be the part of something, maybe the way they greet people, but this is not the way we get in our own culture. We don't shake hands with other people, elderly people. So we prostrate to we kneel. Tradition to race, maybe kind of attire or clothes they wear, civilization to, and your social experience. Those are the components that you, those are the fragments that you infer or you pick your values from to generate a kind of value system or a kind of value bank that you use to react or behave in society. Sorry, I hope you are following. Next slide. Yeah, yeah thank you. Next slide, sir. So example of social value, we have truth, honesty, justice, kindness, generosity, tolerance, empathy, patriotism, equality, responsibility, either personal or collective, then you have dignity. Truth now, a genuine depiction, next slide, sir. Truth is a genuine depiction or statement of reality. I think this is well explanatory. And there is a quote here that, that states, the truth may be 
may the, the truth may hurt a little a little while, but a lie hurts forever. This is tell you that it's better you 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 tell the truth than lying just for a while and 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 let it go like that. Another example is honesty. The quality or heart of being truthful to oneself, just like we mentioned in truth. Another one is justice. The idea of fairness, the idea of fairness, impartiality, etc., especially with regards to the punishment of wrongdoing. So you have to be just in punishing someone, or you don't have to sweep law under the carpet. So you have to be just. It might not be even a punishment of wrongdoing, it might be a reward of, 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 an, of a good act. So you have to be just in dealing with people. That's justice. Next slide, sir. Another one is kindness. The behavior that is marked by ethical characteristics. And Mark Twain said here that kindness is a language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. Although the deaf can't hear what you, what you are saying, but your act of kindness can be audible to deaf. And your act of kindness can also be visible to the blind. So that's the importance of, of kindness, the behavior that is marked by ethical characteristics, or a pleasant disposition and concern for others. That is kindness. Another one is generosity. The ability to, the ability, the habit of giving freely without expecting anything in return. That is generosity. You give willingly without expecting anything in return. Have a generous mind. Give people. That's one of the one of one of the key uh, key 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 values. Um, key example of social values. Mm. Another one is empathy, to care about the feelings of others, like to care about how you be your can affect others, or the kind of what you say can affect others. That is empathy, and we have here in the box in the picture here that the ability to understand and share the feelings of others, other people, that is empathy. Next slide, sir. Tolerance, tolerance. The acceptance of or patience with other, with the belief, opinion, and practice of other, others, or accepting the behavior of others for the sake of common good. This is tolerance. I think this is one of the problems we have in Nigeria right now, religious tolerance. We don't have it here in our country. So we find it hard to accept or to be patient with other people's belief, not to get irritated the way people do their things, with the way they worship their God or they do their, 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 their things. And accepting it doesn't mean, doesn't necessarily mean that you, you join them in participating on you worshiping what they believe. It's just having the mind that this is the way this set of people choose to believe and accepting that for common good or just for just for peace to reign or things like that. Patriotism, great and selfless passion of love for one's country. That is patriotism, the love you have for your country. That is one of the role, that's one of the examples of social values. Next slide, sir. Equality, equality the state of affairs in which all people within this specific society have the same status, status and in certain respect and have the same right and rules. Let me just rush to this because we don't have time. Responsibility, the state of being accountable or obligatory to duty in a place or among people in the society. That is responsibility. Dignity, the state of being dignified or worthy of extinct. That is dignity. That, those are the examples of social values. Next slide, sir. Then how social values are formed? How social values are formed in society? They can be formed from the family, from your friends, neighborhood, schools, internet, on internet, TV shows and books. And in the pictures, in the pictures beside it, you see um, 
families reading, teaching their children something in the book, and you see um, maybe students in class discussing, and the third picture you see um, kids, children watching TV, and the fourth picture you see different logos of internet. Those are the that, those are how values are formed in the society. Family is very important. That is the first society of of a child. What you what you do in the family is not it's not even what they told children what they do. It's what they see you doing. That's the kind of values they emulate in the society. And they also go out to meet friends. And the values that their friends take from their home we homogenize with them. And they will, uh, in the long run, they also have that value system that, that will mark their behavior in the society. The other one is neighborhoods. Their neighbors and every, everybody they, they meet in the neighborhood, schools too, their classmates, their teacher, their junior colleagues and all. On the internet, people learn a lot of values on the internet too. TV shows, reality TV shows and all those we have on our TV other um, program we have on our TV, you can learn values from there too. Books, yeah, this is one of the important way I personally have learned some values in the society because I enjoy reading great books a lot. One of the books, some of the books I've read, just two of them, I think I read Emotional Intelligence by Daniel Goldman. That's with very interesting books about learning about, learning about human, behavior and how to relate with other people in the society. And the other one is um, Daniel Carnegie, how to win friends and influence people. So those are the kind of ways how values are, are formed in the society. Next slide, sir. Difference and dynamism in social values. As you know, social values, as you might have also imagined are dynamic and can be different from one nation to another. What is perceived right by a country can be wrong in another country. So it doesn't, the travel doesn't always have the same thing. It is dynamic and different. Next slide, sir. Example now, we have homosexuality, polygamy, abortion, pork, marital affairs or relationship. We know in Nigeria, homosexuality is illegal. Whereas in other in European country or American country, it's legal there, it's legal there. So that's the one of one of the differences in social values. Some side communities see homosexuality as something legal, while others see it as something illegal. Another example is polygamy. In most African countries, polygamy is legal, is permissible. Going to Europe, European country or Asian country, some parts or most part of um, European countries, polygamy is illegal there. It's not permissible. And again, abortion. If you have abortion in some countries, it is allowed. In some countries, it is conditional, depends on the health of the mother or how, how um, dangerous or how inimical the baby is to the health of the mother. And it, in some countries, it is completely illegal and support is illegal. Example I can give here about abortion. In West Africa, we have about 16 countries in West Africa. There are some countries that, there are three countries that share brother, which is um, Senegal, Guinea-Bissau, and Guinea. Those three countries, despite the fact that they share the same border, the rules, excuse me, the rules or laws guide abortion there is different. In Senegal, it's completely illegal abortion. While in Guinea-Bissau, it is permissible, it is permissible, it's legal there, it's allowed. But in Guinea, there's even between Guinea and Guinea-Bissau. In Guinea, it is conditional, like it depends on the effects of that of the baby or the features on the mother health or on the mother life. Another one is pork. I mean, yeah, eating of pork. In a Muslim society, you know that pork is haram, is illegal, is impermissible. But in a Christian society, it is permiss permissible. You can eat pork. And mind you, being a Muslim doesn't mean 
being a Muslim in a Christian society doesn't mean you are allowed to eat pork because your value also cut across being in, in that Christian society. Another example is premarital affairs or relationship. In some society, premarital affairs is punishable offense under the law. Why it is unorganized in some society, we don't care if you have premarital, even extramarital affairs in some societies are organized, but in some societies it's punishable. Next slide, sir. Yeah, we are going to rules of social values in, in nation building. Then we're discussing, we we'll be defining what nation building is. Nation building can be defined as an attempt to build a sense of belonging between citizens and the states and the states and between citizens themselves. Citizens are encouraged to form bond and accept this bond as an expression of nationhood, much more intimate than a mere accident of living within a boundary. So this is just the, um, the, that, this is just the, the attempt to form a bond of being a nation or a nationhood. Maybe you go abroad and you see your other colleagues from, from Nigeria. Ah, you're from Nigeria, you're from Nigeria. So there you form, even if you are outside your country, you still form that nation within your bond, within the foreign country you have. And when you are now in your nation where most of you are the citizens of that country, that bond and that love and that relationship between you, that is what they call nation building. The ability to, to build a sense of belonging. So that is this. Next slide, sir. Roles of social values in education. Roles of social values in education. It's build strong esteem among students. To make them believe in themselves, in their dreams, and to aim high in life. Strong esteem. Other one is respect and tolerance. It helps them to have respect for their teachers, for their senior colleagues, and um, for their colleagues to and people in the society and allow them to also allow them to tolerate one another, maybe in a in, in a school where there are different set of people from different background, different religion, different culture. So it's making them to tolerate each other differences. Another one is good decision making or career choices. It's all switch or switch value values also make them to make good decision in life or to make choice, good choice in life. Awareness of consequence. They become aware, students, in, students become aware about what an action may have, the effect an action may have on their education or on their life or on their career. They know that staying out of school will automatically make them fail. They know that join bad gang, they will know that join bad gangs in school or going to nightclubs or doing all sorts of things, doing drugs, uh, we have a, a bad impact on their life and education. Another one is guidelines on our proper behavior. It's guide them to behave properly in this society, especially where we have different kind of condescending opinions in society and different kind of religious acts. So if a person, if a student is not guided, it will be, he or she will be derailed in this society. If you don't have this, that set of standard or personal code of conduct he or she follows, the person will be derailed in this society. Ide ideas on innovation abilities. It also sharpen their innovative skills in the society, ability to see problem in the society, to identify problem in the society and to far solution to it. Next slide, sir. Um, can I just interject? You are on slide number 18 out of 29. You have 10 minutes left, please. Okay. So these pictures are showing social value in education. Next slide, sir. Rules of social values in poverty of a nation, selflessness. It's make people to be selfless 
to care for others, not to be selfish. Empathy and compassion. It makes people to be compassionate toward others and show empathy toward others. Charity. Charity is part of it. Sustainable development goes to eradicate poverty and its effects. These are, these are also the rules of social values. It makes people to come together and provide, provide the sustainable development goals to eradicate poverty. And a typical example is the no poverty and zero hunger of the four, as the first and second of the United Nations Sustainable Development 17 goals. Next slide, sir. So this is the picture depicting roles of social values in poverty of a nation. You see, giving water, feeding the poor, donating bags and books for students, and feeding the less privileged. Next slide, sir. Roles of social values in community, promote tolerance, improve communication, strengthen intra and inter community relationships. It also foster unity among people for collective contribution toward the development of the community. It's in, it, it foster unity among people. Serve as yastics, as yastics to create other needles and enjoy good morals. Embodied people with, within a community as vigilants and make and make and make protecting others people's other people's life and property responsibility. Like it's make people um to to see as their responsibility protecting other people's life and property. Like it's bring that unity and love for other people in society. That's the rules of social values in, 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 the, in the community. Next slide, sir. Next slide, sir. Okay, this is a picture depicting the roles. You see people together doing, um, doing environmental sanitation and you see people trying to build um, maybe erect a structure in this in the community and here we see two border of usa and mexico and showing american and mexican playing volleyball these are the roles of social value in community it's bring that um, relationship between two communities rules of social values in government encourage honesty and transparency among leaders develop empathy among leaders to listen to the cry of the citizen so it's given that I to listen to the cry, the problem of people, people are suffering. Discourage indiscriminate and abusive use of power. Eradicate corruption among political parties because corruption is as embedded in our political parties in Nigeria. Help to dis disregard tribalism, racism, gender bias, and religion prejudice in the governments of a nation. Instill patriotism among leaders, as well as the followers. Sensitize the government to provide infrastructure to revitalize different sectors in, in a country. Next slide, sir. Roles of social values in religion. Preach, <clears throat> preach showing love and kindness to humanity. That's what they preach in. I think that's what they preach in most of our religion houses to show love and kindness to humanity, encourage patience and contentment in the pursuit of life. Yes, it's encouraging people to be patient and be content wherever they have in life. So people, as is very common among youth of the day, they are they want quick money and they want to make it very fast. So they don't have patience and they don't have that contentment with what they have in life. Prohibit immoral engagement and relationship in society. Attach high regards, regard and prestige to modesty and chastity. When people are modest or modest in society, that uh, social value in religion give them that high regards of being modest. They organize them in, in the in the religion society as a good people, as modest people. Preach peaceful coexistence and discourage religious conflict and terrorism. So. This is what most religions are, are preaching, but it's another, it's another way around the way we see it in Nigeria. Next slide, sir. 
So this is a picture depicting the roles of social values in in in, in, re in religion. You see people, uh, uh, ladies with jab, and a, a man with a cap. Snappy pictures. We see a pope and a shake shaking hands. We see a girl with his with his colleagues, and we here we see Buhari, Muslim. We see Pastor Adebo here, and we see your Simba here, which is Christian. So that's the rules of social values in religion: coexist, peaceful tolerance, and all. Next slide, sir. In our conclusion, to recap, to, to summarize everything, social values are crucial set in building a nation to strive politically and socioeconomically. That's not even a doubt. They ensure a society that is free from discrimination, abuse of power, greed, poverty, corruption, insecurity, etc. Create a good nation for a sustainable coexistence among people, organizations, and communities. Preserve a better future with, with a society devoid of poor values, poor morality, and poor ethical standards for the coming generation. Like, Shava doesn't only work on this present generation. It's also preserve a future for the coming generation whereby the society is devoid of poor values, poor morality, and poor ethical standard of living. Those are the roles of social values in nation building. Next slide, sir. And this is our reference the site I've consulted to build this up. Next slide. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you for attending. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you very much, Ali. Um, that's much appreciated. Thank you for the efforts put in today and for making this um, wonderful presentation. Before we, uh, without further delay, I would give the floor to the mentor, um, Dr. Ansha, to give us some uh, to our thoughts on the presentation and any addition or, or, or otherwise. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman, everyone, for your time and attention. Thank you, Mr. Ali, for the beautiful presentation and your efforts in putting this together. Yes, um, social value is very important in building our nation, um, cutting our course, education, religion. And it is very important for us to know that um, social value um, st actually starts from, um, from the home. And parents, as you know, are the first role model for the children. And almost everyone's uh, first experience is love and care he or she receives um, from his or her parents. So um, it is uh, very important to actually work on the um, fundamental of social value, which is the family, because um, that is um, the family that say builds the society, community, and the nation at large. So we need to, as parents and um, potential parents, I think we need to instill these social values in our words so that um, we can actually achieve the um, great nation we all um, yearn. And that is um, putting together all the examples of the social values. Um, truthfulness, honesty, love, tolerance. Uh, the way we see our society today, in just increasing number of assaults, cases and crimes everywhere, corruption and jealousy. People are now becoming less tolerant. Um, and this, are, this leads to a lot of violences and family breakdowns drugs here and there, which are destroying our youth. So it is worth knowing that social value is not just um, something we have to play with because it cuts across everything, um, all um, the social aspects of life. And I would say that we should, as, as a little, in, in our own little way, we should make sure that even amongst ourselves, our families, our friends, we should try to emulate these social values so that we can have a better nation. Thank you. 
All right. Awesome. Thank you very much, um, Dr. Aisha. If other thoughts from you would be received later on. Before I open the floor for general comments and contributions and questions, I would like to um, pick on the um, Champion Education Foundation fellows that are here tonight to give their thoughts. I'll start with Prince, then we go to Sadiq, we we'll go to Nifemi Christiana, and then uh, Ali is the presenter, and then Daniel in that order. Prince, Sadiq, Nifemi Christiana, and Daniel. So, one, one minute, please. Your thoughts on the presentation for tonight. Yeah, go ahead, Prince. So Dick, it, uh, we, you can take over. I think Prince is struggling with his re reception. Good evening, Good evening. Can you hear me, please? Yes, we can hear you. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, thanks to Mr. Ayanda Unyali for the wonderful presentation. It was, uh, I really enjoyed it. And it's actually a thing we must talk about, especially when we consider the fact that uh, it's really um, degraded. Sorry for that. Um, it's really important to talk about those things. Uh, recently, I, I tell people that uh, at times when I look back at a uh, few years ago, I see the way uh, the values are added. But I tell people I'm too young to be talking about um, how good things used to be back then. So, uh, I think when I talk about this, I'm just telling you uh, I hope everyone uh, gets the thoughts uh, that are said. Thank you. All right, thank you. We struggle to hear what you're saying, but I think I pick um, the fact that I'm just trying to distinguish between right and wrong, and then that the value system is dead in our society and all. Thank you for that, um, Sadiq. And then um, we'll go to um, Nifemi Christiana. Yeah, Nifemi. Christiana, are you there? Yeah. Yeah, let's play your thoughts, please. Okay, Daniel. Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, to you, Daniel. Good evening, yeah. thank you. Good to be here. And um, it's a timely, timely subject because we were discussing about uh, social values. So it's what we have to be reminding ourselves regularly. And sometimes it's a daily experience, daily encounter. Like, how do we manage? differences, different opinions, and sometimes offenses. Well, what, what, I've, what I would like to say is that many times we just have to learn the value of what they call empathy and just understanding people from where they are and who they are so that it, it will help us to manage conflicts because we, we, we um, Daily, we always meet people of different opinions, different different values. Like not everybody believes in even um, things like respect. 
So how can we manage uh, people's emotions and all that? So it requires, it requires the value of empathy, which is an important social um, values. Being, being, being sensitive to people's, even people's problem without them um, telling you by sharing it, I believe is something that we all have to cultivate. And I'm happy that this, this, topic, uh, this topic is really timely. And going forward from here, I hope that we will not just be listeners of this um, of this presentation, but actually become better persons in our daily interaction with people. Thank you. Right. Um, thank you very much, um, Daniel. That's a that's an insightful, insightful um, submission. Yes, um, it's it's not enough to talk about this topic. It is very important to incorporate it in our daily um, our lives, and then let it reflect in our activities: truthfulness, honesty, integrity, um, trustworthiness, patriotism, uh, empathy, and all that has been uh, listed as um, core values uh, uh, that con con contribute to our social values are very uh, important. So thank you, Daniel. Uh, um, I will open the floor now uh, for, and I'll allow people to raise their hand if they have contributions, questions, and um, suggestions. Um, before, while I'm waiting for the first person, I will just um, again thank um, Ali for his um, presentation. And uh, what, what I have to say is that it's, you know, I would listen to other co contribution before we, I round up. You know, nation building, nation building is at the heart of this uh, presentation, and we're looking at it from the prism of um, social values, uh, especially in the context of Nigeria. If we can compare to other countries where these um, social values are being upheld, you know, and uh, so that's that's where it's coming from. Daniel um, Ali has mentioned quite a number of examples of social values and their relevance in um, in different um, aspects of nation building, including education, religion, um, government, and all. He, 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 he made mention of how we can also where to get social value from from family, neighborhood, community, school, books, and stuff. And he mentioned some some example of books. Um, my question for him uh, for now is, what's the role of government in ensuring social value um, uh, in a nation or in a, in, in, a, in, a, in a country? So role of the government in ensuring social value. Um, that's a question which uh, we can pen down for later on. I have a hand up now uh, from um, Barrister Elias Kazim. Yeah, you have the floor. All right, thank you very much um, for this topic and the presentation which has quite um, impactful. Um, I, I think that when it comes to social values, the tendency is very high to ignore it as uh, a non-important issue, you know? So, and I'm saying this because sometimes when you ask people, what's the problem in Nigeria? Everybody says, oh, the problem is corruption. But corruption, how? How did we get here? If we've not imported leaders from Ghana or Europe or anywhere. So the people that are leading us are also part of our society, meaning that the social values that we inculcated at unit level, family level, community level has now become entrenched into our public life. So coming to the question of what role the government uh, is to play, I think that I would speak as a lawyer to say that many times government often is con confronted with the choices of what to criminalize and what not to criminalize. So um, if, does, if certain social um, wrongs rise to a level where they are no longer able to be addressed at more friendly levels, that's when the government comes in to actually make hard legislations to be able to say this one is criminal and you cannot do uh, this. And a good example we can find, you know, around the when people say that they are they are resorting to yahoo yahoo business, you know, other things like that, as a result of unemployment, as a result of other issues. Yes, those issues exist, but should you find solution in something that is, you know, inherently um, criminal and immoral? So many times, question quite government needs to legislate, they need to enforce legislations, they need to make policies, 
they need to encourage or discourage. And in policies of government, there are many ways of doing that. Even when you are not punishing, you are actually incentivizing, you are providing incentives for people to actually behave in a certain way to change their cultural values. But beyond government, I do think that there are also roles that citizens usually um, overlook. And I'll cite specific examples before my time runs out. One example is I was flying from um, Dubai to Lagos, and probably I've told uh, I met him or some other wrote this story before, where we got to the airport in Dubai, going to Lagos, and everybody was on queue, and everybody was well behaved by all standard possible, and then the flight landed in, in Lagos, and the same people that I traveled with in Dubai that behaved well, they started jumping queues at the immigration point in the Muitala Mamet airport in Lagos. And I was asking someone beside me that, did we not travel with these people from Dubai to Lagos? They said, we did do. They started jumping queues, they started behaving like, so how, how did that happen? I, I think that um, there's that something that resets people's memory when they get to a particular environment that, something is allowed here. One of my professors would say that is like when you have children, they usually judge or gauge the environment that they are in. If they are in one environment where they are so free to do whatever it is they can do, they can take out as many candies as possible until their parents say, no, you can't take this one. And then they'll, they'll begin to adjust accordingly. That you can equate that to how you might be. So, and we can really trivialize these issues that Shebi is just jumping key. But, at, but that's how we begin to trivialize other important issues as well. And, and a good example is also in London recently when some people were accused of jumping queue to see the uh, queen's uh, um, casket when she was lying in state. You want to see how the debates have been very contentious. And to a Nigerian, it's like, it's not that they were jumping queue. What's, what's, what's important about it? But it's when you don't address small, small issues like that, that they begin to escalate into big ones. And then it can affect how the nation looks. And lastly, is the fact that we also need to be conscious of how the social values also overlap as well, right? And a good example is I was attending an event where we had like um, myself and some other Muslims, like two or three other Muslims, and we're concerned about what food we will eat because this was an event where we were spending like three days there. So we're concerned about what food we will eat. One of us just mentioned something that triggered a lot of conversation and some thinking. It was like, why are we budging ourselves? If we get to the event, anything that is good enough for vegans and vegetarians will be halal. You understand? because those guys don't eat any form of meat in any event, that what they will be eating will be, you know, different kind of plants. And those plants can, you can hardly get it wrong as a Muslim if you are eating plants, you know? So it's when you begin to eat meat that we begin to talk about those meats being halal or not being halal. And then we had this conversation and then we began to interrogate about how, oh, okay, you can actually use the um, standard of a vegetarian as a minimum standard for a Muslim but you cannot use the standard of a Muslim as minimum standard for a vegetarian. Because when it comes to that, a lot of things that will be halal will not be compatible for a veg because a Muslim can actually eat some meat. It's just that they cannot eat some other meat. But this guy says, I cannot eat any meat at all. So in planning, government needs to be aware of how those social values overlap with each other how you can use certain people's social, social value as a minimum basic standard for everyone because it works for larger people and how you cannot flip that on the other way around. Because if we do, it's going to easily conflict and it will cause a lot of um, a problem. So I think I must stop now. Thank you very much for the presentation once again. Yeah, thank you very much, um, Barista. Yeah, that's um, that's quite. Uh, you, you know, I like the fact that when you make a point, you give examples to uh, to buttress it and to to bring um, um, context into it. So um, we, you've said something about the family being the fundamentals, uh, the, the 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 primary place um, where these social values are inculcated, and that brings me to a point that uh, Ali made. You know, when you listed where you get um, uh, social values, when you go to book, you make a lot of emphasis on it. And you made it um, look like books uh, where what where you got where you got most of your social values and stuff like that. But 
we have to realize that books can, add, have limitations, have limitations on what they can actually um, give us, you know, um, when it comes to social values. Um, then um, the, we, we, when we talked about government, you know, Barisa tried to um, talk about, talk about um, governments finding how to what to criminalize and what not to criminalize uh, when it's come to social values. Um, the issue is beyond criminalizing um, uh, these things. When government talk about them enough, when when the conversation when the when the conversation, conversation is on the table and a lot of people know that this is right, this is wrong, beyond punishment, beyond going to jail. You know, when you when when you got when you come to um, England, you know, you know that for the first day I got, I said you can't jump queue. You know, it's it's like an unwritten rule anyway. So and everybody conforms. So even beyond punishment, when government brings this conversation to the table, you know, um, the trustworthiness, the and the kind of things government encourage by rewarding, you know, people that do things, and you know, what 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 do we give? What do we lay emphasis on? You understand? What characters do we do we do we um, promote in the in the society? I think that goes along. Then when it gets out of hand and it's beco it's becoming a menace to the other people, then we can talk about criminalizing it and all and stuff. But even before it gets to that level, I think there are quite a number of things that um, could be done, you know, um, in order to make sure that everyone understand that this is our identity. You understand? This is what we expect of our people to, to do. You understand? And like we like a point had been made, we don't invent people to rule us from anywhere. So where are we getting people that are embezzling millions, billions of dollars, you understand, you know, into their own personal accounts. That's selfishness. That's un being in, un in comp uh, having compassion, you know, that's lack of empathy. You know, in this nation where you have people, millions of people in poverty, you know, people living below poverty line, people unable to um, get one do a meal a day, you understand? And you are having a harnessing wealth that the whole, uh, 10 generations be after you would not be able to, um, I mean, that's that, that that's beyond understanding. And it's boils down to all of these things from the grassroots, from the family level, you understand? So, and yes, citizen has as much role to play, you understand, as, um, as, uh, as in fact, much more role to play as um, government, uh, like um, uh, if, if we would be honest, but government needs to bring the conversation to the table and, you know, let people understand it. Like, but like we said yesterday, we don't have a government that is ready to make the bold decision that, you know, to be on the wrong side. Although it might seem to be on the wrong side in the beginning, but I believe that over time, the same thing that people criticize is the same thing that they get to praise once it, it starts yielding the result that is um, desired. Um, yeah. Any other person who want to contribute at this point? M20, sir. Sir? Yeah. Can we hear your contribution on this topic? Okay, I actually want to thank uh, Mr. The, uh, the Great Ali for the wonderful presentation. And I want to briefly talk about the overlap of social values, especially in Nigeria. Looking at it from the, uh, how the draftsmen of ours have actually crafted some of the social values, particularly in focus. Now let's talk about Remarital sex, or even um, sexual intercourse between uh, like two consenting adults. You know, in Nigeria now, in the southern part of Nigeria, like sex between two consenting adults is not like criminalized. But when you get to the northern part of the country, it's like an offense. So I want to ask the presenter, like, is it really possible to? build a nation, considering the fact that we have different laws for different parts of the country. Like in the North, there are some things that are criminalized and they are not criminalized in the other part of the country. So how do we build a nation around those uh, kind of uh, diversity? Yeah, Ali, do you want to go? Uh, yeah, let me just try to attend the question asked about um, a law <clears throat> about the law of relationship or or affairs in the north. 
I think if you look at it, like I said, there are different components of values. If you try to trace it from the to the to the source of it, we see that most of the laws that that say or that that criminalize marital sex or marital affairs are what we can call Sharia law, which is religious. And uh, in Nigeria, we are not following Sharia law. I don't think that I I don't think I don't know I don't know much, but I don't think they are part of Nigeria where we use Sharia law. But in the <clears throat> In the general law of Nigeria, there's nothing like criminalizing a uh, primary relationship uh, um, at all. It's just our culture and the, the, the influence of our culture, our religion, that makes it to look like, okay, having primary sex can be criminalized and um, stuff like that. Then I also like um, Barista Elias to share more light on this as a, as a lawyer. Right. Thank you. Well, we have two lawyers in the room. M to A is also a lawyer. <laughs> so, so for the way it works is that the constitution allows Sharia law in certain areas, such as you know Islamic what is referred to as Islamic personal law, and okay, it was arranged like that because of the understanding that not everybody you know is a Muslim, and when it comes to personal affairs, each person is able to arrange their personal and private affairs in a way that is suitable for their faith. So when it comes to issues like marriage, inheritance, you know, which broadly um, um, bequests, inheritance, uh, mm -hmm. you know, all sorts of things that can come under personal law. Mm -hmm. The constitution gives a large role for the application of the uh, Islamic law on those areas, right? It is when it comes to criminal matters, and because you are speaking criminal law now, which is why when it comes to criminal matters, it's a lot more controversial because there are some states in the north where they actually have criminal laws that, that mirror uh, Islamic law, while in the south, nothing like that so far that I know exists. So in those northern areas where you have uh, criminal laws that are mirrored, um, uh, that mirrors Islamic law, each time that is a judgment from the north, that leads to controversy in the South. Why are they sentencing this person this week? Why are they doing this, that? You understand? Which comes back to the question of that overlapping um, values in a society where you have um, different religion, different uh, ethnic groups and all of that. It does require a lot of wisdom on the part of the government in lawmaking to make sure that those overlapping social values are somehow um, addressed without unnecessarily causing or exacerbating a uh, conflict. So if I'm trying to speak more about that. Um, yeah, um, well, if I don't know if anyone will say, but I mean, com it's coming from not law a, a lawyer uh, angle of it now, I mean, even in places like the United Kingdom, okay, if you live in England, you live in Scotland, um, Highland, and you know they have they have general law that are that they, are, they share in common, but there are some specificity that uh, that, that comes to with other, I mean, them. in the same thing in the United States of America, you know, states have some law governing them. The fact that you can practice in one state does not mean you can necessarily practice in another state, even within the same country. You, you get what I mean? So I think it goes to citizens' education. You understand? And awareness that okay, when you are in this region of the of the country, okay, and you commit this crime, it is it is it is a, it is a criminal offense, or it is it is it is punishable, okay, and you you are binded by the law of that of the land where you live, okay, and we don't necessarily have to, and so you, you won't be extradited to the south to be judged for an offense you commit in the north, okay, or or, or vice versa, such that um, everyone knows that if you do this here, then this this is your this is your punishment and. People can be people can identify with their own with the, with their core values. Nigeria, you know, if you're in the north, you you and and you travel to the south, you think you're in a different country, but that does not necessarily mean that we are not a, a country. Okay, we have those that think those things that divide us. They are not as much as those things that actually unite us in the end. So um, it's about awareness and you know making it. Uh, open and not a, a, a secret affair or that um, if you do this you you, you 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 get this punishment i mean that's how i would say it you know coming from a a, a more open um, perspective and so over to you
Okay, um, I'm not sure he can, if he comes back, he would give his um, input. Daniel, your hand is up and we have to finish in eight minutes. Yeah, Daniel. Daniel. You raised your hand. Do you have something to you tell us? You raised your hand. Do you have something to tell us? Okay. Um, I think he has lowered his eyes. He doesn't have much to say. We have quite a number of um, people that have joined us today that I've not seen before. Nuruddin Uthman, do you want to say something? One minute. Nuruddin Uthman. No, 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 no. All right. Abdul Latif Rafia. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, Daniel, your hand is up again. You have the floor. Okay. I want to say that sometimes concerning morality, your society dictates what is right or wrong. In in some cases, because, for example, in Nigeria, we criminalize. There's no, there's no yet illegal backing for being a gay, being a lesbian. But to someone in the U.S., it's like you can't criticize them. You can't, you can't uh, insult them for having that ideology. In fact, you have to even respect them and give them their space. So sometimes your society can dictate what is right or wrong. And you just have to probably manage your own bias as an individual. Thank you. Yeah, well, thank you very much, Daniel. But we should also understand that we have our peculiarity as an African, as a Nigerian, and the Americans should not try to force their own belief of gayism and homosexualism on us. And they should respect our own belief as well. You understand? So it's vice versa. So as much as we should try to allow them to do their thing, they should, they should ensure that they allow us to do our thing, if you get what I mean. Um, Ms. Taibat Sarfadin, your hand is up. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening, everyone. Um, and thank you to the speaker for giving us um, that wonderful um, presentation. Uh, what I would like to do is um, buttress um, the points that my mentee raised, and uh, Mr. Chairman has talked a little bit about it earlier. Um, it's about um, um, the geographical location of a particular um, set of people, and the people living in it, um, the, their beliefs, their values, their core values, their beliefs actually inform um, um, the law governing that um, the the legality of what um, whatever um, conduct um, of that state. Uh, for example, I would like to even in the U.S. as um, progressive as they think they 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 are as um, you know free as they think they are, there are some states that are actually conservative and um, they they are they are really really rigid even on the gay law. We have some um, states like Arkansas, like Texas, like um, I think California and stuff. And um, um, if we could remember vividly the um, the the last um, um, what is it called? Um, the road road versus Wade law that was upturned in the U.S. You know, concerning abortion rights and all that that particular um, 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 upturn of that of Roe versus Wade law um, governing um, the legality of abortion in the U.S. actually made ways that even um, the likes of Michelle Obama and um, Barack Obama and um, um, all, all the big wigs of the um, they call them the leftists. I think um, the 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 um, Democrats, so to speak, all the big wigs of them, they, they, of, of, of Democrats, they were all crying a foul that time when 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 it was upturned. And there are states that even before before now, abortion as 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 free as it was in the I mean as legal legal as it was in the in, in the U.S. and as um as um 
um, um very very popular as gay rights and and, and the lights are in the u.s there are some states that, that had strict rule about it that it is illegal in their state and those, th th this this set of people the 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 gays and the the, the people that, that actually support abortion they find it really difficult in fact they, they stay away they stay out as far away as possible from those states so this this boils down this shows to say that the 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 values the core values and the the um the the, the, the uh, the, the beliefs of, of a particular set of people living in a, in a particular geographical um, situation could actually affect what they they, they make legal or, or or not in that in that, in that regard. Thanks. All right. Thank you very much. Um, there was a lot of noise in the background, but I could get um, your points. Thank you. Um, very much for that um, submission. Um, so yeah, again, it, it, it boils down to um, the um, the you know the location and uh, respecting the law of wherever um, you are. So you see, the examples have been made, made to different states in the United States of America where they they share different law, you know, guiding the um, the affair, and it's respected. So the same thing should be applied to north, north, south, and all. And it doesn't make it doesn't make the north barbaric. And it doesn't make the the south immoral so it's just about respecting the belief of people that live in an area and allowing them to run their affairs so if you are going to conduct a business or live there you you have, you have accepted the law governing that part of the country and that's why you've moved there so you, you don't want to it's not an infringement on your rights because you have subjected yourself to the law that's governing um that uh, particular part of the country um, and I think if this, if, if we preach this, a peaceful coexistence can definitely um, exist um, in Nigeria. Um, <clears throat> by and large, it's a, we have a minute to call it a day. I think um, if we, if social values are properly incorporated from the community, from the family level to the community and our society, um, to the religious institutions, I mean, when they preach the right thing they're supposed to preach and they, they have the, uh, the, the nation building at heart and promote these core values and to the government making sure that these things are talked about a, a lot and enough you know um and rewarding the good deeds and um, trying to frown against the bodies even if it when they are not yet um uh, criminalized i think um when we build citizens that are conscious uh, of the social value um we it will go a long way in um in promoting uh, our nation building and making our nation much better. Of course, we have se several problems that are you know, confronting us in the nation, but um, a good social value um, imbibed in most of the citizens, majority of the citizens would solve some of the problems, and if not most of the problems that we are currently um, facing at the moment. Um, I'll, on this uh, end, I would, try to draw, I would like to draw the curtain to, the, um, to the, today's meeting we finished 30 minutes behind schedule because we started 30 minutes um, as um, stipulated and that's largely due to uh, my own um, lateness to start the meeting because i was out of the uh, out of town and i'm really sorry that i had to keep everyone for 30 more um, 30 minutes um, beyond um, what they were supposed to um, again thank you very much and i'll drop the curtain um, at this end good night thank you good night thank you Bye. Sir. Ah, good night Good night.